Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? How are you? Good. Yes, I'm tired. Oh. Entire, yes, I believe. <laughs> yes, I'm a bit tired too. All right, good evening, Fatima. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? How is it going? What's up? Good. What's new? Oh, good. All right, nice. Good to hear that. I'm glad. I'm glad you're fine. Well, here we are, Jessica. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Fine. And you? I'm great. I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm glad that you're fine. I'm glad that you have connected tonight for tonight's class. Yes, we're getting here. We're getting the flow. That's awesome. Well, we still have some people connecting still. That's nice. But what day is today? Today is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, March. March 29. 29. Right? Yes, 29. Tomorrow is the 30th, and this month has the 31st. So. On Friday is going to be April 1st, I think. All right, this is our third week. That's nice. That's awesome. Okay, welcome on the chat. Nobody has said anything. Good evening. Welcome to class. Nice. Uh -huh. Good evening. Hi, how's everybody? How are you doing? How is it going? How's everything? What's new? Hello, good evening. Okay, remember this is a good practice, okay? <laughs> At least for spelling and for reading, that's great. Mm -hmm. How was your day? What did you do today? Any good news? I hope you're fine. I hope you are okay. That's awesome. Isabel Torres. <laughs> Good evening. How are you, Isabel? Good evening. ¿Cómo se dice con estrés, teacher? I'm stressed out. <laughs> like, I, I have a lot of stress. <laughs> I'm stressed out. Really? Why? <laughs> Because work exam text test in my school. Really, you have exams this week. Yes. Very soon, because it's just March. Where yeah, we're finishing March actually. So it's like the first trimester, right? Nice. And you are in high school or ninth grade? In high school. In high school, first year or, or second year? Uh, second year. Second year of high school, nice. You're gonna graduate okay. soon. This year you're graduating, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. Congratulations, keep it up, okay? You can do it. <laughs> yes, I know, high school tend to be kind of hard and it gets really, busy sometimes and, it, and it's because you have a lot of subjects a lot of things to study a lot of things to learn okay nice so some people say good evening hello good evening good evening good evening everybody i'm glad you're here i'm happy to see you that's nice if you never write a message try to do it so it becomes a custom becomes a habit for you okay great mr pablo josue how are you Uh, hi, good evening. Good evening. How was your day? I'm fine. You're fine. Did you have a good day? Yes. Yes. I have. 
a good have day. a good day a wonderful day that's good where do you usually work in what area i work at Salud. yes in health you told me but what place what city san salvador in san salvador so you have to walk yeah. a lot or you yeah. ride a bike or you drive a motorcycle or you ride a motorcycle or you drive a car or you usually walk sometimes i drive and sometimes i walk so you walk and today did you drive or you walk right nice yeah actually you have a good i mean a very important job that's really nice karen good to see you karen <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you, Karen? Fine, thank you. And How was you? your day? I was. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm doing great. I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm very, very excited for this class. Actually, I love it. How about you? Mm. Como se dice yo también. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yes. All right, nice. Well, welcome everybody, the ones that we cannot see. We hope, we expect to see you at least from time to time to say hello. When you work with your partner, it's good to have a visual contact. Remember that, never forget it, okay? So today we are, yes, definitely starting, um, well, starting, starting, hey. La tendals. We are not taking it, ah, yes, it's true, thank you, thank you for reminding me, yes, we're taking attendance, we're having the class number 10, I just show it to you, oh, let me just make sure I'm not showing anything else right here on the attendance. Oh my goodness. One second, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, here today is the 29th, right? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes perfect. 29th of March. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, here we go. Here, here, here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we go with Brian and Sandy. Nayib, Nayib? Present, present. I'm <laughs> sorry. Present. Okay, Damaris. Present, present. Nice, David. Present, teacher. David is the most punctual student in this class, okay? So no doubt. <laughs> Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo. Elias Reyes por ti. Oh, you have my same last name. Yes, How are you, Eduardo? Yes, All good? Doing fine? Fine, fine. fine. Mr. Edwin Mendez. Yes, fine. Hello. Not here tonight. Stephanie. Are you here? Present. Hi. Fatima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Good evening, nice. Fatima Lourdes. Present teacher. Hello. Fernando. Hello. Fernando Arturo. Nayet. Isabel. Present teacher. Of course, here. Yes. And Jocelyn. Present teacher. Hello. Jeremias. <laughs> Jeremías, did I see Jeremías? Not yet. Jessica, Janet. Yes, and teacher. Hello, Karen, Michelle. I saw Karen. Present teacher. Yes. <laughs> okay, Lourdes. Lourdes, Anaí. Not here. Marcos, Javier. Not yet. Oh my goodness. Present teacher. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear you before. Okay, Nurian. Karina. Nahir. Pablo Josue. Okay. Yes. Hi. Roxana. 
present teacher. Hello. Teresa. Teresa. Not here yet. Veronica. Present. Hi. Victor. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. Hi. Present. And Jessica. Present teacher. Marilu. Good night, good evening. Hey, good evening. Sorry, Edwin. Edwin, Mr. Edwin, what happened? Good. <laughs> All good. Um, All right. Somebody else that just connected? No? That's it. All right, perfect. Okay, welcome. Do you remember yesterday class? What did we practice in the class yesterday? What structure? What vocabulary? Do you remember anything? The food. Different the food. food. Different type there of food. There isn't, there aren't. There isn't, there aren't. Okay. There are some, there isn't any, there aren't any. Is there any, right? So that's what we're going to continue practicing. That's for sure. We're going to review. Okay. That's great. So I had shown you this slide before. Welcome to class. And remember the expected behavior. So at the end of this class, we're going to be able to review the use of some, any with cow nouns and non cow nouns for food and describe food people have in different countries. So this is what we're going to do. I mean, this is what we're going to do. And this is the expected learning for today's class. All right, some exercises. Uh -huh. This sounds familiar, I believe. Let me just get it right here. This sounds a bit familiar and we're gonna get the text. Oh, before we get the text, sorry, we're gonna get the spotlight actually. And here we're gonna put it right here. So some and any, cow and non cow nouns. As I explained yesterday, count is something we can count individually. One, two, three, apples, bananas, oranges. So we can count potatoes, onions. So we usually say one onion, two onions, three onions. So those are account nouns for food. And non counts is when you already have uh, a dove, cereal, bread, algo que está hecho de alguna masa o de alguna pasta o de algún cereal, eso no es contable. Yes, that's non count. Okay. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Parenthesis eggs, that's optional. So you can say, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Ya se sobreentiende que son eggs, porque ya se preguntó previamente. Yes? So you know what you are referring to. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Oh, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some or some bread. Or no, we don't need any. Yes? So this is bread, no count. Eggs count. Okay? An egg, singular, means one egg. Eggs is plural. A sandwich is one sandwich. Sandwiches is plural. With non-count, ellos no tienen plurales. Bread, lemonade, ice cream, mayonnaise, uh, cereal, rice, beef, whatever. is just that. Non-count, no plurals. Okay? So for a specific, I'm eating an egg. So just one egg. Let's get some bread. In general, eggs are good for you. Bread is, eggs are good for you. So eggs in plural, right? And bread is good for you. So this is in general. Cuando queremos decir los tomates, los huevos, las papas, o bueno, o son importantes para eso ya So we usually count. In plural, eggs, tomatoes, potatoes are good for you. But bread, cream, milk is good for you. En el caso de los non-counts, siempre va a ser is. Y en el caso de los counts, va a ser are. Yes, porque ellos tienen plural. Okay, so let me change the text. 
and we're going to complete this part. All right, let me put this right here. The store doesn't have any potato salad. So we're gonna to have to complete the conversation with some or any. The store doesn't have, the store doesn't have, it's negative. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make mm -hmm. some. Let's some. make some. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Aquí se sobreentiende que let's make some potato salad, right? Because the store doesn't have any potato salad. So let's make some. Or let's make some potato salad. Pero si no queremos sonar repetitivos, so we don't want to sound very repetitive, we just say let's make some. Okay, do we have some any. some or any? Mayonnaise. Any. Some. Do we have some mayonnaise or do we have any mayonnaise? No, any. Any mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise. Exactly. Do we have any mayonnaise? Because it's a question, right? Do we have any mayonnaise? Some people probably say, do we have some mayonnaise? And we understand but it's not the correct structure. We say, do we, do we have, so it's a question, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy, we need some. to buy some, yeah. exactly. We need to buy some mayonnaise, right? We need what? any onions. Some. We need some. Some onions, some too, onions because we are affirming plural. yes some uh, onions exactly in plural counts plural we need some onions too oh i don't want any i don't want any onions right i don't want any onions i hate onions we i don't want it's negative i don't want any onions i hate onions then let's get some. some some celery let's get some celery celery is esto el apio <laughs> okay so they're talking about the potato salad right so let's get some celery no i don't want any i don't want any, any celery. celery i don't want any celery in my potato salad but let's put some, some. Apples. some apples. Let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds that awful. Sounds <laughs> so do you put uh, apples in a potato salad? Not that really. <laughs> Not really, right? So this would be the exercise, right? So this is just to review the class from yesterday, yesterday's class. Do you have any question or any comments, any doubt? Mm -hmm. It's your turn to uh, ask questions, yes? What the mean? Awful. Awful. It's horrible. That sounds awful. That sounds horrible. It's usually... Yeah. A negative expression. Oh no, that sounds awful. awful. Yeah, for some people when they say, uh, what is there to eat? Oh, do we have any food? And probably somebody tells you, we have fish soup. And you say, oh no, that sounds awful. <laughs> so probably you don't like it, right? So you say, oh, that sounds awful. Okay, any other question? No? Sure? Clear? Clear as the water? Clear. All right. So we're going to listen to Roxana is going to read the part of Amanda and Pablo Josue is going to read the part of Adam. Ready? Yes. One, Ready. two, three. The store doesn't have any potato salad. 
Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Okay. Do you we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I said onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery and my potato salad. Let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. 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 <laughs> la A y la W suena como oh, awful. Okay. Yes. Great. Awesome. Nice. Good job. No more? No more questions? So we clear all drawings? All right. Okay. Let's go on. What do you usually have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? In the USA, people usually have? Eggs. 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 Bacon. Orange juice. Orange juice. Coffee. 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 Jam, 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 jelly. Jam or jelly. Okay, nice. Interesting, right? In Japan, people usually have fish, fries, pickles, green tea. Okay, pickles, pickles and green tea. Pickles are usually what we call vegetales en vinagre, right? Mm -hmm. Aquí, ¿qué hacemos en vinagre? Generalmente ponemos cauliflower, carrots, ¿qué más? Onion, Onion Onion. Uh -huh. cabbage, right? But in other countries, generalmente lo que ponen son cucumbers, like the pickles, cucumbers, and... <laughs> Green peppers también, right? So puede ser cualquiera. Yes, yes. soap o soap. soup. 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 Yes, soap es jabón, pero es con A. S O A. Pero este es soup. Chicken soup. Yeah. They no. usually have fish soup for breakfast. <laughs> Ok, así que si admiramos la cultura japonesa, it's because they are very smart, no andan con cosas. Ok, in Mexico, they usually have eggs, egg, egg, beans, beans, beans tortillas, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread. bread. Coffee with, coffee with milk. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. That's right. What do you have for breakfast? Check the foods. What else do you have for breakfast? Ustedes van anotando ahí lo que ustedes generalmente desayunan. Si alguna combination from the USA, Japan, or Mexico. Okay. I usually have. This, 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 and this. I usually have toast, but not with butter. I usually have toast with um, with ham and coffee. Sometimes I have uh, cheese, beans, and fried bananas. And sometimes I have cereal and milk. Okay, what about you? I'm going to ask you para que compartan qué es lo que generalmente desayunan. What do you usually have for breakfast? Así tienen que preguntarle. Y cuando ya lo hayan dicho y quieren que alguien más continúe, le dicen, Estefanía, what about you? Y yes, este va a ser un breakout room rapidito, solo para que compartan lo que you usually have. Y lo que a veces, y lo que rara veces, right? Like, I usually have, I sometimes have, I... Maybe other times have, right? So this is just to compare what you usually have for breakfast. Go ahead.
que capté fue que, que yo lo único que capté fue que vamos a decir qué es lo que usualmente desayunamos. Ok, ¿alguien puede compartir la pantalla? Sí, ahorita. Ok. Ya la mandó el grupo, la, la tía. Mm, es que no, no puedo ver, espérate. Voy a ver ahorita. Ajá, ahí eso es lo que mandó. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? I usually have for my breakfast is coffee, a cup of coffee, egg with beans, and sometimes cream. Pan dulce. Bread, sweet. <laughs> dulce. Yo puse candy, bread. Mm -hmm. No, es yeah. sweet, bread, es eh, verdad. Yo creo. No sí, sé. Sí. Ah, bueno, sí, dice Eduardo. Um, I usually have eh, avena, eh, cereal, pancake, eh, sometimes eggs, tea, and coffee. Okay. I sometimes have eggs with beans and bread. Okay. Y cómo era la pregunta. What do you usually have for What? breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Eduardo. <laughs> Sometimes. Um... Oat, oatmeal. 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 Ajá, se escribe O-A-T-M-E-A-L. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Okay. Oatmeal. Ah, cierto. Oatmeal. Oatmeal with milk. Only that. Okay. It's for uh -huh. Fatima and Roxana. Vaya, Roxana, yes. le voy a preguntar yo. Okay. Uh, what do you have? No. What do you usually, usually have for breakfast? I usually have in my breakfast eggs, beans, bread, sometimes coffee with milk, and sometimes coffee, cream, or cheesy. Okay. Hoy usted me pregunta a mí. What? Hola, hola, sorry. What? What do you have for breakfast? Eh, ¿qué lo, vaya, ¿Cómo es la cosa? Yo tengo que contestar. I, I usually, I, no, I usually, I usually have for, for breakfast. I usually, yo usualmente, uh, yo usualmente desayuno, have for breakfast. Y luego dice lo que desayuno. Ok, sería, I usually eh, have for breakfast. Help, help. Have, uh -huh. for breakfast. Breakfast. Um, mm -hmm. Scrambled egg, uh, rye beans, or tortilla, or, or bread, or bread, um, coffee, uh, cheese, and cream. Okay. Alguien se quedó sin participar. Jeremías ya participó. Jeremías. Yes. Con Fernando. Hi Jeremías. What do you have for breakfast? I have a, I have breakfast and bread, jelly and coffee or orange juice. Oh. Okay.
All right, Karen, tell me. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia de decir I usually have y I usually eat? It's the same. Se puede decir de las dos maneras. Exactly. Have lunch, have dinner, eat lunch, eat dinner. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's very, very similar. No problem. Anybody else? No more? No more questions? Good. All right. So this is what, you, what about lunch? What about dinner? So you usually ask the same question, right? Describe, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for lunch? What do you usually have for dinner? Or what is something that you never have for lunch? Or what is something you never have for dinner, right? So you can talk about this as well, okay? I usually have for lunch, I usually have for dinner, this, this, and this, and this, right? For example, for lunch, I usually have chicken, chicken soup, or toasters sometimes, <laughs> or rice, I usually have rice, I usually have salad, I usually eat uh, lunch at noon, and dinner, I usually have what? Let's see. What's the most common dinner I usually have? Oh, beans, probably, or chicken soup, or mashed potato. That's what I usually eat for dinner. So, what about you? What do you usually have for lunch? What do you usually have for dinner? Just think about it, right? Right now, you don't have to describe it. Don't worry. Okay, this is just for you to have an idea that is very similar. What you usually have for breakfast, what you usually have for lunch, what you usually have for dinner. So you just start describing, right? I usually eat this, this, and this for lunch. I usually eat this, this, and this for dinner. Yes? Is there any question? No? No question. For example, what did you have for lunch today? Do you remember? Today I had... Let's see what did I have? Oh, chicken, chicken salad and fry and French fries. Yes. What about you? What did you have for lunch today? Fish, mm -hmm. rice. Fish and rice. Oh, that was good. Chicken with cream mushrooms. Oh, nice. In a mushroom cream. Nice. Uh, mushroom cream. Yes. Uh huh. Somebody else remember yes. what you had for lunch today? And salad, and juice, and tortillas, and rice. Rice, salad. Mm -hmm. Vegetable yeah. salad. Yeah. Green salad. Vegetables. Vegetable Veg salad. Uh -huh. Vegetables. Nice. All right. Somebody else? Nobody else? All right, cool, no problems. Aha, uh -huh. talking about fish. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always, always, okay, has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things, okay? So we listen to Sara and Kumiko, right? Talking about Kumiko. breakfast. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Any difficult word? Any difficult expression? Uh -huh. It sounds easy. It sounds easy. Easy. Okay. Easy? All right. So let's practice the conversation in groups, right? 
the same groups? Oh, we have four and five people in each. Let's create new rooms. We're gonna create two more rooms. So maybe you're gonna practice with the same people or with different people. I'll share the conversation, no problem. Para entrar a WhatsApp, me toca salir de, de, de la clase. No sé si Karen puede. Ah, bueno. Sí, porque yo estoy en la compu y en la compu no, no tengo la imagen. Solo en el teléfono. Sí. Vale. ¿Sí? Ok, yo voy a hacer Kumiko. <ríe> ¿Y quién va a ser Sara? Kumiko, ah, Kumiko. <ríe> ok. Bye. Let's, let's have breakfast together on Sunday, ok. Mm -hmm. Dave, usted, perdón. <ríe> ok, come on to my house. My family always has a Japanese tea breakfast on Sunday. Really? Is really or really? Or really? 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 What did you have? We usually have fish, bread, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's inter inter interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have a great tea. Well, I never had fish for breakfast, but I like uh, to try, try. new things. Uh -huh, new things. New, new things. New things. Uh, no, new, mm -hmm. new things. No. Uh, new times. Ah, <laughs> Vaya. Ahora intercambiamos. Estefanía. Ahora no. la niña Estefanía. ¿Con usted? <laughs> ¿Con quién? Ah. Vaya, empieza Estefanía. ¿Cuál sería yo? Sara. Okay. Um, let's have breakfast to to work on Sunday. <clears throat> okay, come on to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. Tira in Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, fries, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Uh, sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never had fish for breakfast, but I like to three new things. Okay, okay. okay. Ahora yeah. intercambiamos con la compañera. Con... Con... Vaya. Entonces yo sería. Um, Kumiko, sí. yo sería Sara. Ajá. Bye. Okay, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. 
My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to free new things. Ahora intercambio con la, con, con la compañera. Ah, pues ahora sería yo Sara. Oh, y Nurian Kumiko. Uh, o, o quién es, ¿verdad? Yeah. Sí, no sé cómo lo dijeron a. Ah. Comienzos. Let's have sí. breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese staying breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We. Um, ahora. Uh, ahora voy yo, si quieren. Sí. And let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family, my family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's inter Okay, creo que volvamos si quieres repetir con usted. Vaya. Sara. Voy a hacer... ¿Usted Sara? Ah, sí, yo... No, usted sea Sara. Yeah. Let's have breakfast together on Sundays. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Okay. No questions? At the moment, no teacher. Not easy. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the style of the breakfast? Japanese style. A Japanese style breakfast, right? When? When are they planning to have breakfast together? On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. What includes the Japanese style breakfast? And rice, rice. And and soup. Fish, rice, and soup. Have you ever had fish for breakfast? No, I never. No, no. never? <laughs> never? <laughs> Not even for fun? No. <laughs> Ni siquiera por intentarlo? <laughs> no. I have. Maybe. I have tried. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just try. It's not that bad, actually. You can have fish. My grandpa used to have beef for breakfast. He says you can eat like a gaucho. So he used to have beef, like roast beef for breakfast and bananas. My oh. grandpa lived for about 90, 91 year. So I think it was a healthy breakfast. Anyway, <laughs> okay, let's finish. Hi. Hi. No problems, no questions? No problem. Question. It was easy. Okay, good. Well, let's see. Let's continue. Teacher, one question. Tell me. 
¿Por qué eh, dice on Sunday y ya como traduciéndolo se dice, no se diría en domingo, sino que el domingo? De, es que es una regla gramatical. Para los días, la preposición siempre va a ser on. On Monday, on Tuesday, on weekdays, on Saturday, on weekends. No podemos decir the, sino que va a ser on. On. Uh -huh. okay. Siempre refiriéndose al, a al los días. día de la semana. ¿A cualquier día de la semana o a los días de la semana en general o al fin de semana? Ok. It's, uh -huh. It's because of the preposition. It's a rule. Ok. On Monday, on Tuesday. When do you have classes? Oh, I have classes on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. But I don't have classes on Sunday. This. Oh, I don't have classes on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Nice question. Good. Veamos, ¿qué más? What else? What else? What else? Déjenme ver que I lost the, the presentation. No, it's here. <laughs> okay. Well, you already practiced the conversation and now we're going to practice a little bit of vocabulary. Recuerdan que ayer estábamos viendo esto de some and any y algunas cosas que no se pueden contar individualmente. Las pesamos o las medimos, right? So we got a can of soup, a jar of jam, a bottle of ketchup, a box of cereal, a bag of flour, a loaf of white bread or two loaf of whole white bread, a bunch of bananas, a head of lettuce, a dozen eggs, a pint of ice cream, a quart of orange juice, a gallon of milk, a pound of meat, a half pound or half a pound of cheese. Esas son como las unidades de medida, ¿verdad? O los containers. Generalmente son bottles, pounds, gallons, liters, boxes, cartons, right? Quarts. Ajá, uh -huh, quarts. Exactly. Half, half que sería media. Half pound, media libra, right? Ok. To practice this vocabulary, también se los voy a compartir, don't worry. Vamos a ver. When you go to the supermarket, what do you need? You need a shopping list, right? Si no, terminamos gastando el dinero y no traemos lo que necesitamos realmente. <laughs> we spend the money and we don't bring the necessary food for our house. So, <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> you go for one thing and you buy three bags of things okay my shopping list a can of soup a jar of jam a bottle of ketchup a box of cereal a bag of flour a loaf of white bread but la diferencia entre white and whole wheat bread el white bread simplemente es el pan blanco y el whole wheat bread es el pan integral yes el singular a loaf es una Barra de pan, decimos nosotros, y two loaves serían dos. En nuestro país ya las venden cortadas en slices, ¿verdad? El pan de caja que le decimos nosotros, pero en otros países obviamente viene así, como la barra larga. O las baguettes, right? A bunch of bananas, two bunches of carrots, a head of lettuce. Esta es como, ¿qué le decimos? Una cabeza, una cabeza de ajo, decimos, ¿verdad? This is, in English, la lechuga se dice, a head of lettuce. O también el cabbage, el repollo. Just a head of cabbage. A thousand eggs, una docena de huevos, a pint of ice cream, a quart of orange juice, a gallon of milk, a pound of meat or half pound of cheese. Estas son como las abreviaciones, como si fuera libras en Spanish, but it's pounds. Remember? That we say pounds, right? Here. Como las medidas... Las unidades de medida a veces son a little bit international, right? Okay. So, do we need anything from the supermarket? Yes. We need a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread? Yes. Anything else? No, just a loaf of bread. Entonces, vamos a tener este pattern para practicar. Como usted, no, solamente eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, para eso vamos a mostrar estas pictures. So, ahorita les envío las, las fotos. Por ejemplo, si fueran a practicar con el box of cereal, ¿cómo lo harían? Dirían, do we need anything from the supermarket? Yes, we need a box of cereal. A box of cereal? Yes. Anything else? No, just a box of cereal. ¿Sí? 
Is this clear? Yes. Se tendría, sí, yes. Ir, se tendría que ir sustituyendo, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a la imagen que ustedes vayan viendo, of course. Yeah. Vaya. Here we go. La pantalla. No, ¿a dónde te sale ahí? Quiero... Ah, compartir la pantalla. Ajá, Ajá sí, sí. Ah, y luego sí, creo no me... que estoy entrando a WhatsApp para poderla compartir. Alguien más está intentando, no me da opción a mí, se me trabó. Mm. No me da opción, no puedo esta vez. No le aparece ahí compartir. Brad. Sí. Brad. 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 O Brad. 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 Y el orange. Un galón no es, ¿eh? ¿cómo es? O harina es. Harina, Eva. Harina. Un galón de leche. Sería milk. Milk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y nosotros tenemos que agregar uno, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. El número 10. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm going to kill Ahí está la teacher. La dos, teacher, ¿qué, ¿qué es? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? A jar of jam or jelly. Ah, jam. mermelada. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces ese tomemos. All right. Ajá, y ahora pone la parte donde están las preguntas. Right. Ok. Sería jar of jar. Ah, es la segunda que está allá. Entonces sería, eh, do we need anything for the supermarket? Entonces ya, eh, por ejemplo, la segunda, no sé qué es esa segunda. Como jalea. Ah, sí. Dice la dos es a uh, heart of jam. Heart La tercera imagen. Ah. Uh -huh. la número, el número dos, el que a está de color color moradito. Yes, a jar. jar. A jar of jam. A jar of jam. Yes. Ok. Y entonces sería, do we need any from a jar of jam? Y yes, we need uh -huh. a jar of jam. A jam of jam, a jar of jam. A uh, bottle of ketchup. Hola. A bottle of ketchup. Yes. Anything else? No, just a bottle of ketchup. Okay. Okay. Eh, pregunto yo y me. Mm -hmm. eh, do we need anything for the supermarket? 
Yes. Bananas. Ajá, entonces así diríamos cómo sale ahí. We need a head of lettuce. We need a dozen. We need a pin of rice. ¿Qué será dozen eggs? Como docena. Un de huevos. Yes, una docena de huevos. Docena. Uh -huh. Ok. Y a pint of ice cream. Una pinta de helado. De sorbete decimos. Pero. <ríe> a pint of ice cream. Una pinta de sorbete. Creo que si, si dijéramos así en El Salvador no nos entendieran. <ríe> Anything else? No, just a just a ah. can of soap. So. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hoy pregunto yo. Do we need anything from the supermarket? Sería, quiero ver. Es la harina, verdad? Uh, sí. No, es es como pan. Sí. Eight. Okay. The seven, I think so, is the shoe. <laughs> okay. Um, do we need anything from the supermarket? Yes, we need a box of sugar. A box of sugar, yes. Anything else? No, just a box of sugar. Vale. Teacher, ¿qué significa love? Love. Love of bread. Ajá. Ajá, cuando dice, we need a love of bread. Es como una barra de pan. Una barra de pan. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que nosotros no conocemos porque cuando compramos, por ejemplo, eh, pan de caja ya viene cortado en slices. Pero si no viniera así, sino que viniera así largo, completo, sería un love of bread. Como el que compramos para las torres, Mari. Nosotros lo partimos. <ríe> That's a love of bread. <ríe> nos, nos podría hacer el favor de compartirnos ahí la, la pantalla de las dos imágenes. Of course. Did you practice? No yet. No lo he compartir. No yet. Oh my goodness. Ok. Este es el ejemplo. Ya. Yeah. Do we need anything from the supermarket? Yes, we need. Y dicen lo que aparece en la foto, ¿verdad? Y luego, para reafirmar, a loaf of bread? Yes. Anything else? No. Just a loaf of bread. Veamos, acá cómo sería. Do we need anything from the supermarket? Number one. Can eh, spaghetti? It's spaghetti? Spaghetti. I think it's cereal. <laughs> oh, sí. Yeah. Yes. A box of cereal, right? Cereal, yeah. yes. Uh, a box of cereal? Yes. Anything else? No. Just a box of cereal. Yeah? Yes. Okay, for number two, do we need anything from the supermarket? A uh, jar of jam. Yes, a jar of jam. A jar of jam? Yes. Anything else? Uh, no. Just a jar of jam. Right? Just, just, just a jar of jam. Uh -huh. Solamente eso. Is it just? Jar, in este caso, es como una, un tarrito. So. Uh -huh. Un bote, pero como los de mayonesa, como... O sea que no, que son pequeños, pues, y, y no, gorditos. No sé cómo se dice en español. Okay. <ríe> a, a jar of jam, a jar of mayonnaise, a jar of 
¿Qué más viene en botes? Ah, pequeños. Decir un... No. ¿Un? El bottle, bottle de... Uh, a jam, bottle, ¿no? a bottle of jam podría ah. ser. Lo que pasa es que bottle generalmente se, con, se confunde sí. por la botella. Ajá. Porque es una unidad de medida, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. I'm sorry. The previous one, ajá, con el caso de la ketchup sería, do you, do you need anything or do we need anything from the supermarket? Ahí sería. Yes, we need a bottle of ketchup. Yeah, we need a bottle of ketchup. A bottle of ketchup? Yes. Anything else? No, just a bottle of ketchup. Exactly. Yes. Ah, ya caché. Y así sucesivamente. Yes. Sure. No problem. Ahí tienen las imágenes en su WhatsApp para que practiquen. So we have to continue in the main session, ok? Teacher, esta, esa, estas no están en el folleto, ¿verdad? Solo aquí en, en la clase. Lo que pasa es que sí, es como un material extra para que ustedes tengan más vocabulary. Oh, thank you. Mm, don't worry. Podemos adquirir. Yo se lo regalo. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. yes. <ríe> ¿Quién se logró incorporar más tarde? Solo fue Fernando, Yo, ¿verdad? Yo, Fernando. En Jeremías, tú. No había contestado, Jeremy. No. What happened? Uh, no. What happened? You were working. I, I was driving. You were driving. ¿O en Lourdes? Lourdes no se logró conectar. No. no. En Wales. En Teresa tampoco. Teresa. Didn't participate. Nuria. Karina. Silly. Aquí estoy. Hello. <ríe> Dígame, pues ya le iba a dejar ahí zero. <ríe> perdón, perdón. Y ok. En Teresa. En quién más nos faltó ahora Lourdes. Ok. Well. Escriban algo que aprendieron today in class in the chat. A new word, a new expression. A ver. Something. I'm a question. I have a question. question. Yes, go ahead. Um, what do you say con respecto a la imagen mm -hmm. de que quieren dos, que son dos bolsas de Two loaf of bread. Two Ajá, love. pero la pronunciación. Two love, two love. Love. ¿Cómo decir love? Casi. <laughs> to love of bread. Pero tiene que terminar casi como con una Z. To love, to love of bread. To ah, love okay. of whole wheat bread. Uh -huh. Whole. Whole. Yes. Ese es integral. En whole. wheat es trigo. So, to love of whole wheat bread. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Lo vamos a poner de nuevo para que lo vean. Este sería el number seven, ¿verdad? Yes. To love a whole sí. wheat bread. Yes. Ok. Anything else? Veamos que nos escribieron en el chat. Ok. The use of some and any. Ajá. Uh -huh. Whole wheat bread. Anything else? Oh my goodness. It's difficult to write on the chat. <laughs> okay, I understand. Okay, awful. <laughs> That's awful. All right. Anything else? No more? Bueno, pues. Tomorrow we have class. Yes, it's Wednesday, right? <laughs> I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> Okay, it's because I have another course and I'm kind of, 
Oh my goodness. All right. Have a good night. Attendance. 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 All right. Good night. 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 Good night.